Hello everyone, Sherlock Phantom One here, and today we're covering a theory slash analyzation based on a Christmas classic. The Polar Express, a story of a boy who struggles with his belief in Santa and is taken on a journey by a magical train to visit him. Now I'm sure you're all wondering what today's theory will be covering. While I was re-watching The Polar Express for the 20th time this season, I came across the thought I had about a popular theory. Is it possible the whole movie is all just happening in the boy's mind and is nothing short of a dream? Now before you go ranting and quoting scenes in the comments, First, hear me out. First, let's talk about why it could be a dream and possible character meanings. One, the clock seems to be the last thing he sees before he tries to fall asleep again, and that just happens to be when the train shows up. Not to mention, the clock is also the first thing he looks at when he wakes up again. As far as the other characters and their place in this dream theory, here's my thought process. What if the other characters, such as Hero Girl and Billy, could simply be part of the boy's subconscious? On one hand, the girl on the train could represent the boy's hopes and want to believe. After after all, she seems to believe in Santa Claus the most out of all the kids, and seems the most confident that all of this is real, whereas the character of Billy seems more likely to symbolize the fear of being wrong and the doubt the boy is experiencing. Not to mention, if this isn't the case, why are both these characters on the train to begin with, if the train is supposed to be there to help kids who are having trouble in their belief? Another interesting point brought to my attention while researching this movie is, time never seems to shift or pass, which seems to happen sometimes with dreams, and although at one point in the movie the boy attempts to wake himself up, he ends up being unable to, which I'm sure we've all had happen in some dream. Now there are some areas where my theory struggles a bit, so with that let's move on to the next factor of why it couldn't be a dream. Two of the biggest things that really caused me to second guess this theory and its likeliness is, one, the bell which is given to the boy by Santa and is later also received as a present for the boy the next morning after he lost it. You see, we can dream about things we want and have them end up happening, but it seems unlikely that the boy would have dreamed about a gift he didn't know about if he hadn't visited the North Pole. Another hole in this theory has to do with the boy's blue robe. You see, when the train first arrives, we see the boy's robe rip in his pocket when he grabs it while rushing outside. But the next morning when he wakes up and receives a note from Santa referring to the robe pocket that got ripped earlier in the movie, this seems to hint that the robe was already ripped previously the night before, leading me to believe the whole experience might have actually happened after all. But keep in mind, this is all just a theory and my thoughts on what I've observed and read from others. But if you think I missed anything or forgot to mention anything in this theory, please be sure to let me know in the comments below. But for now, that's all I've got. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and be sure to leave a like on the video to see more. Thank you. Have an awesome day. Bye, guys. Believe in what your heart is saying. Hear the melody that's